The Vietnam War left many legacies, and one of the most insidious was the long-lasting effects of herbicides. Thousands of veterans who served during the war and became ill were abandoned by their government, denied assistance, and forced to lobby for their basic right to live the rest of their lives with dignity and to take care of their families. What was Agent Orange? Why was it used? What was the long-term effect? Hello, I'm Colin Heaton, a veteran of the United States Army and Marine Corps, former history professor, book author, and welcome to this episode of Forgotten History. Under Operation Ranch Hand, the powerful herbicide Agent Orange was used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War to destroy forest cover and agriculture for the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong, and was used in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos from 1961 to 1971. The U.S. program used more than 20 million gallons of various herbicides, such as Agent Pink, Agent Green, Agent Purple, Agent White, and Agent Blue, and it was used on 4.5 million acres of Vietnam alone. These were sometimes all referred to as Agent Orange 1, Agent Orange 2, Agent Orange 3, and Super Orange. These herbicides were manufactured by several companies such as Monsanto and Dow Chemical Company under license, and each had different chemical combinations, and the solutions varied in their varying degrees of strength and effectiveness. The most widely used toxic chemical was dioxin, which even at that time was known to have serious health effects. Vietnam claims half a million children have been born with serious birth defects, while as many as two million people are suffering from cancer or other illnesses caused by Agent Orange. Due to the large numbers of veterans filing claims for serious health issues, including cancers, such as Hodgkin's disease, prostate cancer, and leukemia, birth defects, rashes, and severe psychological and neurological problems, the Veterans Administration refused all claims stating that they were not service-related. This information regarding the long-lasting effects of these chemicals was kept from military and veterans. But in 1988, an Air Force researcher, Dr. James Clary, who had been involved with Operation Ranch Hand, years earlier wrote a report. His report and a formal letter was sent to Senator Tom Dashley stating, when we initiated the herbicide program in the 1960s, we were aware of the potential for damage due to dioxin contamination in the herbicide. However, because the material was to be used on the enemy, none of us were overly concerned. We never considered a scenario in which our own personnel would become contaminated with the herbicide. Agent Orange was the most widely used herbicide and more than 13 million gallons of it was used which was almost two-thirds of the total amount of all herbicides used during the entire Vietnam War. In 1979, a class action lawsuit was filed on behalf of 2.4 million veterans who were exposed to Agent Orange. And five years later, the seven large chemical companies that manufactured the herbicide agreed to pay $180 million in compensation to the veterans or their next of kin in an out-of-court settlement. Various challenges to the settlement followed, including lawsuits filed by some 300 veterans before the U.S. Supreme Court confirmed the settlement in 1988. By that time, the settlement had risen to some $240 million, including interest. In 1991, President George H.W. Bush signed the Agent Orange Act into law, which helped codify the VA's response to veterans with conditions related to their exposure to Agent Orange. Previously, the VA consistently denied any and all claims. Subsequently, in 2004, a group of Vietnamese citizens filed a class action lawsuit against the same 30 chemical companies, including the same ones that settled with U.S. veterans in 1984. The suit, which sought billions of dollars worth of damages, claimed that Agent Orange and its poisonous effects left a legacy of health problems and that its use constituted a violation of international law. In March 2005, a federal judge in Brooklyn, New York, dismissed the suit, 
Another U.S. court rejected a final appeal in 2008, causing outrage among Vietnamese victims of Operation Ranch Hand and U.S. veterans alike. Author Fred A. Wilcox informed the Vietnamese Express International, the U.S. government refuses to compensate Vietnamese victims of chemical warfare because to do so would mean admitting that the U.S. committed war crimes in Vietnam. This would open the door to lawsuits that would cost the government billions of dollars. As a sidebar, I have served with many men who were senior officers or NCOs during the Vietnam War. Many of them became very ill as regards to side effects from Agent Orange and similar chemicals. The greatest tragedy is that so many men died without having any chance of redress or medical treatment before they expired and their families lost their loved ones as a result. Let us hope that nothing like this ever happens again. Thank you for watching Forgotten History. Please click like, subscribe, and share. Send us comments and show ideas, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time.